All right, so I've been working on this thing. It's It was actually running okay. I think it was running a little rough, but uh, I got under there and uh, rebuilt the carburetor, cleaned it all out, looked pretty good. And I went in, you can see, I went in and took the head covers off. Uh, I wanted to see what the valves looked like and how much carbon deposited. It's not bad. I mean, not too bad, but it kind of bothers me that that is wet there. Um, the other side's about the same. So I'm just going to go in. I've got the uh, head covers on a bench already. I'm going to go ahead and uh, clean off the carbon deposits on the head covers and come back and clean off the valves and I'll check and see how they're seating. Looks like the valves are seating pretty well so maybe I won't have to relap them. I'll just get them all cleaned up and get all the carbon off. So here are the head covers. Um, this one looked pretty good. The gasket looks good. I'll go ahead and flip it over real quick. And the screws are all the same size, so nothing to worry about. The gasket looks good. So there's there's some carbon buildup. Nothing nothing that bad. That's uh, this side. I'm going to try to save this gasket, but it looks like there's a little crack on this one. Um, you can see where the oil and stuff has come through. And I think it's because of that, and it's really not that bad. It's like a little indentation there, but uh, so maybe I'll clean it off. So not bad. I'll get a wire brush after it, after both of these, and uh, and the top of the uh, pistons. All right, that's what I like to use. I like to use my little wire brush there, and uh, and clean all this chunk of it out, and then also on the top of the other piston and, and the valves. And I'll use the same thing. I have a couple of them. I have a smaller one that I put on a Dremel also. Maybe I can show you what's going on here. I'm just going to run it at a very low speed. And run it across. I don't want to take away any metal. I'm just trying to scrape that carbon off of there. So you see how easy it comes off. Um, then with the brush I can get down in here um, where the valves seat over there but uh, but that's it I'll do this all the way around and, and we'll move on so I got the heavy stuff off now I'm going over it with some real signed sand, sandpaper to get in here and get in all the nooks and crannies and where the spark plug goes in um, you can see it's it's coming out pretty clean um, another option which I can't do right now but you can see our little sandblaster there that's another project in itself it needs new gloves and a new uh, little plexi got plexiglass cover on it but it's full of sand ready to go but in the meantime I'm gonna do this the old-fashioned way alright so they're fairly clean got all the dust off of them the gaskets, this one looks okay. I would just go around on the inside because there's some carbon that'll build up on the inside ring. Um, this one was the one I was worried about. You can see on this side, this one little area, the other side looks good. But that's it. Let's go check on the piston heads and the valve heads. 
All right, so sorry about the noise. We're right by the AC over there. But, uh, so I'll do the same, clean all the carbon deposits off of that and check the valves. The other side looked good. I cleaned them off and uh, checked around the valves and they're, they're seating well, so they, they actually look good. Um, it still runs rough, of course, here's the cover for the valve springs and you can, uh, uh, from there you take springs off and you take the valves off and lap them and all that good stuff, but this one's actually okay. So I'll just finish these off and we'll put uh, the head covers back on. So what I thought was interesting when I checked out the spark plugs, um, you can see this one's it's pretty clean. Not bad. On this side, and the head cover looked a little worse for wear too compared to uh, the other side. But you can see how much carbon burned carbon is on this spark plug. But this is, it's not bad, it's actually fairly normal. But you can see the difference between this side and that side. I just thought that was interesting. All right, there she blows. Um, just when you're bolting these back on, just get them snug all the way around and then follow a crisscross pattern. Don't forget, say one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, something like that. Just go, go around in a crisscross and then the two farthest ends. Um, and that's about it. Um, just do that on both sides and it is done.